Hi, and welcome to Heather's Happy Stitches. I'm Heather. Today we will be going over the half double crochet and the slip stitch. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so as always, we are going to need our crochet hook. This For this tutorial, I'm using a 5.5 millimeter. Scissors and a tapestry needle. And of course, your yarn. So to get started, let's just make our slip knot. However you make your slip knot is just fine. And get into our starting position. So we're going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through four, yarn over, pull through five, yarn over, pull through six, yarn over, pull through seven, yarn over, pull through eight, Yarn over, pull through 9. Yarn over, pull through 10. Yarn over, pull through 11. Yarn over, pull through 12. Yarn over, pull through 13. Yarn over, pull through 14. Yarn over, pull through 15. And finally, yarn over, pull through 16. We're going to need to make one extra because again we will lose this st a stitch in the turn so in the second chain from the hook this one doesn't count this one is busy holding our yarn so we're gonna go into the second from the hook so we're going to yarn over push through yarn over pull through one so now you have three on your hook you're going to reset yarn over pull through all three and that is your half double crochet we're going to yarn over don't crochet into this one go into the next one yarn over pull through one so you have three yarn over pull through all three that's two i'm going to yarn over push through reset Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through all three for three. Next stitch. Yarn over. Push through. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through all three for four. Yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three for five. Yarn over, push through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three for six. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. And then your next stitch. 
yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through three for seven, yarn over, push through stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three for eight. Yarn, yarn over, push through one, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. And if you can't go through all three at one time, going through one at a time is fine. It won't hurt anything, just as long as you get through all three. So then we're gonna yarn over, next stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, Yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. And then our last stitch. Yarn over, push through stitch. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through all three. So now let's just double check to make sure we got all 15 stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this stitch down here, this is your turning chain stitch and you will crochet into that. All right. So let's chain one. and turn. So we're going to yarn over, push through the stitch, and you're going to take here you're going to technically have four stitches on your hook because you got your two working yarn. This is the original, this is the yarn over, and then this is your V stitch. So you got one and two. So here you're going to yarn over, pull through vo both on the V. So you only have, so you have three left. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, next stitch. Yarn over, pull through V. Yarn over, pull through all three.
All right, so now for your last stitch. This is the turning chain I told you about in the other round. So do not forget to go into it because again, your project will slowly but surely start to go in on this diagonal line. It will not be even. So just yarn over, find the stitch, pull through one, yarn over, pull through all three. And then I'm chain one and turn. So now again, yarn over, push through, yarn over, pull through V, yarn over, pull through all three. And don't forget this last stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Just to double check. More yarn. Alright, so here it might look like you're done, but look, see? You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there is a stitch hidden in this mess. It's difficult to see and easy to forget because it's the turning chain and because it gets twisted it just it gets mashed. But definitely do not forget your turning chain stitch. Alright one more row and then we'll go over slip knots or not slip knots the slip stitch Alright, so don't forget that last stitch. Alright, so now I'm going to just slip stitch all the way around like a border. 
and give it a nice clean edge, okay? So we're just going, we're not going to chain one, we're just going to turn because we don't want to add any height to it. That is the point of a slip stitch. It is um, a stitch without adding height. That's why you chain one to get the height of the next row. But the slip stitch, you uh, don't want to add any height. So we're going to go in like a, nor like a single crochet, yarn over, pull through, but instead of yarning over and pulling through these, t oops. Yeah, but let me just start over. Okay. So, okay. So let's go in, yarn over, pull through. And now instead of yarning over and pulling in through two to make your um, single crochet, you're going to just pull the one you just pulled through, through your back chain, just like that. And you want it to be relatively loose because you want it to be easy uh, for your yarn to go through. Or if you're going to do another row above it, you don't want it to be difficult to go through. So don't work your single crochets on the narrow part of your shaft. Come to the long part. See like don't do this. Don't yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again because that'll make it really tight and hard to work back into if you need to. So instead, just pull that out. Make this wider so I can get my hook back in there. Work it like you would a normal stitch. Yarn over, pull through one, run it along the base of your hook to the wider part, and don't pull too tight so that it narrows right here. And then just go through. It should go nice and easy. So we're just going to push through, yarn over. Pull through one and then two. Push through, yarn over, pull through one and then two. Push through, yarn over, pull through one and then two. Push through, yarn over, pull through one and two. Push through, yarn over, pull through one, and two. Push through, yarn over, pull through one, and two. Okay, so now we're at our corner. To turn this corner, we are going to put just one in there. And then to turn, we're going to put another one in that same stitch. And that turns our corner. So now this 
these aren't stitches. So you just see the holes here, right there, right there, right there, right there, and right there. Those are the holes you work into. Don't go into the stitches down here. Just stay on the border like you would be working normal stitches. So this hole here, push through, yarn over. And then this stitch, and then this stitch. And then this last stitch. Okay, so now we're at the corner again. So this stitch here, we're going to crochet into twice. So we're going to do one, and then turn it. through one and two okay so now we're going to go back down this row these are actual stitches All right, so we are at our corner again, and we're going to crochet twice into that corner. Now this end, normally I would crochet over it, but since we're doing slip stitches, it won't catch, so we're just going to move it aside and out of the way. So next non stitch we're going to go into this stitch here. It's a little bitty opening. Do not go into the, the actual stitch here this one here. Alright, so we're at our first stitch and we're going to stitch into the same one that we slip stitched into. So this one here, it's a little difficult to find, but you can find it right there to so just quickly slip into there and then we're gonna make like we're chaining one use our scissors to cut pull this one out pull this one tight crochet or sew in your ends. So just a few stitches this way. And 
and then stretch it and then we'll do this one Okay, so now you see how the slip stitch made a pretty little border here? And they're still giving it. You can know that you slip stitched too tight because there won't be any give. And see the threads stretch? If you single crochet too tight, or not single crochet, slip stitch too tightly, there will be no give at all. So try and make it nice and loose. And when you're done, if you're working on a hat that has a single crochet, just, if it's like this, just give it a quick little oomph, like this. And if there's give, you did good. If, if there's no give, it's too tight. All right, but that's the single, that's the slip stitch, and that's the half double. I hope you enjoyed, and it was easy to understand. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great day.